The best way to take the pulse of New York is to check out its traffic arteries at night. And in recent days, the signs of life couldn't be clearer. Once the workday is over, the nighttime economy is again kicking in. Bars are back open. For residents, the city has sprung back to life. This is my first time going out in the city in over a year. Bars are still limiting the amount of people who can enter. But for this bar owner, it's almost too good to be true. I see signs of life. It is amazing to be up in this space. We got the call that we're able to do that, and we found a way to get it open as fast as possible. New York's first lockdown one year ago seemed like something from another era. The city that once saw 1,000 people dying every day has seen its daily death rate fall to roughly a dozen. More than 20% of the city's population has been vaccinated, with the rollout kicking into overdrive. But the biggest sign of the city's recovery is the property market. After a lull in sales, estate agents now have their work cut out. Thousands are flocking to snap up property, attracted by the drop in prices caused by the pandemic. C'est le cas pour les locations et c'est aussi le cas pour les ventes parce que les ventes ont connu un niveau stratosphérique par rapport aux années précédentes. But on New York's iconic Broadway, the theaters are still shuttered. A few days ago, a group of performers organized a street protest in the hope that soon they too can join in the Big Apple's rebirth.